Here's a quick tutorial on how to make uh, GDNT callouts that are using datums. Um, so as you can see, I have a uh, CAD file here and a scan. The, the blue object is the scan, so I'm just going to toggle that off right now. But if I want to create datums uh, in order to create some GDNT callouts, I can come over here in the Dimensions tab and come over to Datum. And if I hold shift, I can select multiple faces if I want to. So if I zoom in here and hold shift and select all those faces and label that the A datum. And then if I want to make this cone the B datum, and then maybe this cone a C datum. So you see there I just created three different datums. And essentially all they are doing is just labeling that those surfaces are in fact going to be used as datums and available inside of the GDNT callouts um, for uh, datum structures. So now if I want to come over here to this hole and put a, like a true position call out on the, the hole on the side there, what I can do is come over and say true position and then click on that cylindrical face here. And if I have predefined datums, then I can come in and select that I want to do a true position call out on these A, B, and C datums that I called out there before. And then I can actually add material conditions as well. So if I wanted to add a uh, MMC to it and then hit OK. And then the same thing goes for the, the others. The interface is kind of similar. Uh, if I just want to do a flatness call out on this surface here. And again, if you hold shift, you can select all three of those. And in a flatness call out, obviously, uh, it isn't a datum based, but this is how you uh, create a flatness call out. And then there's your tolerance. And then, for example, if I wanted to use this face and do perpendicularity, I could grab that. And then you'll see I can use the A datum to do a perpendicularity call out between those two faces. And everything evaluates as you create it. And just a couple other tips that once I create these, um, I usually come right over to the GDNT group, click on the group itself, and then reassign my viewpoint for the report. So that way when you do create a report over here, um, that that uh, screenshot will dump directly inside of that report for you. So this is how to create GDNT callouts with datums.